Hello and welcome. So we did install our uh, Windows Server 2012 for our domain controller. Now it's time to install the additional domain controller. And in order to install the additional domain controller for our New York office, what you can do is you can simply click in here in taskbar where you got server manager. And once you click on server manager, click on add role and features press next it is going to be role based and this is going to be the server where we are going to install our additional domain controller in roles make sure you select active directory domain services and add features press next we do not need any features right now so we are going to click on install and once we do that what it's going to do is it's going to install the tools the management tools for us and uh, it is not going to make this server as a domain controller so in server 2012 whenever you want to make a server as a domain controller the first step is to install the tools through server manager and the next step is to promote that server to become a domain controller like in server 2003 if you remember when you were trying to install or configure a domain controller what you were doing was you were using dc promo command in your uh, like you you were going to start run dc promo and then you were making a server as a domain controller but with server 2012 it is not like that it is like two steps the first step is go to server manager install the tools from the uh, Act active directory domain services tool from uh, server manager roles uh, add roles and features and then once you're done you can simply click promote this server to become a domain controller once you click in here so if you remember in our sacramento office because it was our first domain controller we clicked on add a new forest but this time we are adding this domain to a, an existing domain which means that we are going to make it as an additional domain controller and then we got another option in here that is an extra information that I want to give you and that is for child domains. Where do we use child domains? Child domains are used in more or most of the organizations where they want to have security because for example you are working for a company where they have finance department and the finance department says that our data is very very credential and we do not want to share any resources to anyone so we want to have our own domain controller our own users and our own security permissions and everything so what are you doing in here you are separating their domain controller but they are still part of the existing forest they are not part of the existing domain they are part of the existing forest where they their domain name will be finance.lmjo.local so whenever they create a user account in their active directory in their child domain it will not replicate it will not replicate to the main or any other domain controller this domain controller is going to be separate domain controller so uh, in here we are going to use existing domain which is going to make it uh, additional domain so our existing domain name is Elmjo Tech so it is asking me for the username and password and i'm gonna supply the username and password for elmjotech.local press ok it just found it if you see and then next so uh, you must supply an account name i'll just change this in here uh it didn't work because uh, i was using the domain nycejodc01 which is not going to work uh, we need to use elmjo tech dot local slash administrator which will change the domain name down in there and then this credentials that we will supply in here will 
be the credentials from our Sacramento uh, domain controller. If you do not do that, it is not going to work. So once again, if you see in here, it is not working. So because it says that the password is incorrect, I can up just supply it again. No problem. Ngotech.local slash administrator and then the password. Press OK. Press Next. All right. It is asking me again. And Ngotech.local local and uh, backslash administrator and then the password let me pause the video and find out what's going on I uh, the username and password is incorrect I'm sure all right so it just worked um, I, I just closed it and then I clicked on this uh, thing again and then um, I just supplied the uh, NGOTEC password and it worked so it was not a big deal like I didn't do anything else it was just the username and password um, that, that, that's all I did okay so the next step is um, the next step is going to be um, we are going to make this as a D DNS server and we are going to make it as a global catalog and if you see in here it is say asking us something allow domain controller reinstall like if we want to reinstall a domain controller uh, it should allow us and it says uh, in here we got something saying an account with the name of the server have been found in the directory in order to continue you need to confirm that you want to reinstall uh, this domain controller so uh, what it is saying is uh, that uh, this NYC EJO DC01 account is already found in here and uh, in order to in order to uh, just install this you need to select this allow domain controller reinstall so it's gonna reinstall it so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna supply a password in here press next next it's gonna replicate to any domain controller and again the database folder where are your uh, all your objects like users when uh, groups and everything are your log files that you can use to troubleshoot your syswall uh, folder where you got your scripts and your group policies um, press next next after checking the summary it's gonna see the prerequisites and if there are any issues it's gonna just tell us if not then it's gonna do the installation all right so the prerequisite is good so we can simply click on install and it will start the uh, deployment for us It is replicating now uh, to uh, your uh, Sacramento domain controller, like copying all the objects, all users, making sure that when you open your additional domain controller, all objects are same as your uh, same as your primary domain controller. So that's that's what replication does. Like it copies everything uh, from the main domain controller and main domain controller. Uh, copies everything to the additional domain controller making sure that their data database is up to date so the installation is done and uh, it is going to restart uh, our server or our domain controller so for the next time when you start it it should be your uh, domain controller like your additional domain controller ready to use all right, so uh, the server restarted, and if you see, when I would just went to command prompt, then I typed netshare, and I can see net logon and syswall folder in here. So most of the times, when your server becomes a domain controller, and you when you do it netshare, it's gonna show you the net logon and syswall folder. So I can see it, and NS lookup is working fine, I think. No, it is not because it is picking up the uh, 
IPv6 address and in order to uh, disable that I'll simply uncheck uh, IPv6 address and uh, after this it is gonna work so um, our domain controller our additional domain controller is now ready to use the next lab is going to be about installing Windows Server 2012 for our exchange server um, uh, for, for New York office and then uh, we will be installing exchange server so I hope it was useful uh, video for you and I'll see you next lesson